Okay, now we're looking at uh, 12 see the odd numbers, the second uh, part of uh, this this um, worksheet. So uh, the question was in 5.3 determine O2 in terms of x. We got that to be 2x. Just fill that in there. Okay, just make it a bit smaller. So that is your, your 2x then. So the next question in 5.4, we're supposed to be in a 4 there, hence determine the value of x. So if we look at, at uh, to solving x, we need to set up an equation. Okay, and as you can see here, we got 2x plus 90 plus x equals 180, sum of triangles. So let's write that down. 2x plus 90 plus x equal to 180. Sum of triangles is triangle O S R. Okay, that is sum of triangles. It is triangle O S R. So that's going to give you 3x is equal to 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees divided by 3x is then equal to 30 degrees. Okay. Okay, in question 7 is a straight, uh, is no introduction really. But the question says uh, determine the value of x and y. So if we look at where x lying, x is here. So that angle and this angle is the same angles in the same segment. Then we have a 70 here. How can we incorporate that 70? If we look at where y here, y is this angle. So we know that 70 is equal to x plus y. Exterior angle of triangle equals sum of two interior opposite. That's in order. So here we got 40. That is 70. Let's have a closer look at this quickly. I think I'm shorting, I'm overlooking something here. Because I B3 is equal to 40 plus X. So B3 and Y is the same. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video and then... Uh, have a closer look at this quickly. By the looks of it, it's going into simultaneous equations. I might be wrong, okay? But um, we have to try something. So let's go with C1 equal to X. I think I'm, I'm uh, shorting something. So let's go. C1 is equal to X, angle in same segment. And it's coming from arc uh, EB. Okay, so that's an X here. So we know that y, angle y, is equal to, is your sum of triangles, angle y is equal to 40 plus x, that's exterior angle of triangle, and it's, let's call that triangle EAC, okay, so that's going to be uh, 40 plus x, then this angle here, is uh, the again exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite. Then we have another triangle here, of course. Now <coughs> 70 is equal to 40 plus x. Wait, wait, wait. 70. Oh, 70 is equal to y plus x. I, I put that in there. 70 is equal to y plus x. The reason here is exterior angle of triangle. And it's triangle EKD. Okay? So, <coughs> remember y is now 40 plus x, so I can replace that y. So, 70 is equal to 40 plus x plus x. Okay? So, I get 2x is equal to? 30 degrees, so x is 15. Alright, so what do I say? Since y is equal to 40 plus 15, y is equal to 60, uh, 55 degrees. Okay.
Okay, now we're looking at number nine. So in number nine, we are told that P, Q, and T are points in a circle with O, with center O. So we know that angle at center is twice angle at circumference, okay? So that's going to be 2x. Then we are told that P, Q, and R are points on the smaller circle. P, R, and Q. Let's read again. Uh, P, Q, and R are points on the smaller circle. P, R, and Q. I had to say O as well, because O is also on the smaller circle. So O is on both. The small um, of the smaller circle. P, T, Q is X. Right. The question says, determine the size of P, O, Q in terms of X. That one is easy. We said that it is 2X. Okay. P, O, Q. Okay. And why is that? It's angle at center. The central angle theorem, no? Angle at center is twice angle at circumference, so there I go 2x. In 9.1.2, they say P R Q. So P R Q. So this P R Q is also 2x. And you see his angles in the same segment. Okay? It's so angles in the same segment. And it's coming from arc uh, PQ. Okay. In 9.2, the question says, hence prove that RT, so RT is equal to RQ. Now, for these to be equal, You must ask yourself if this was if those lengths was equal, what would have been equal? And if those lengths was equal, what could have been concluded? We could have concluded that this angle here would have been equal to that angle. So in pursuit of calculating or proving that it is equal, I now prove that this angle and that angle is the same. So in other words, if I can prove this is an X, I've done the job. Okay. So let's go and we check. So we see here. This angle, which is PRQ, is equal to angle T plus angle RQT. Why? Because it's the exterior angle of triangle, dot, 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 and it's triangle RQT. Okay? So that is simply 2X. I could have gone straight and said 2X is equal to X plus RQT. So, angle RQT is an equal to X. So, they have just proven that it is equal to X. So, I have to conclude. So, I say since, since RQT is equal to angle T, which is equal to X. They have proven it now, right? Since that is the case, we can conclude, therefore, since that is the case, therefore, RQ is equal to RT. RQ is equal to RT. Why? Because it's sides opposite equal angles. Okay. The sides opposite equal angles.